One of the most boring tasks in Excel is inserting sheets for additional tasks or multiple divisions. It gets worse when we need to reformat that like any previous sheet. We feel you and this video of same formatted multiple sheet is for you. Let's take the road to make the tasks fun, fast and fruitful. Hello there, this is Faria Tumim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VBA related answers. Here we have a data set with 6 records based on their serial, category, product and price. Using this we can learn how to create multiple sheets with same format in Excel. We will cover 4 methods for that. In the process we have used Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Now let's get down to the video. As we can see, our dataset, column header and titles have different formats. Let's copy the format into another sheet. As you can see, we have copy paste too and this is a blank worksheet. Let's go to the source sheet and here click on this triangle on the top left corner. Right click on it to select copy or we can go along with control C to copy. Now go to copy paste too. Here click on the triangle, right click on it and here select paste. As you can see that the entire formatting has been copied from the source sheet to the new sheet. Easy, right? As for our second method, we can see this is our source sheet, which is named as move or copy. Now to get another sheet with the same format, let's right click on the sheet name. Here from the context menu, let's go along with move or copy. Now here, let's select create a copy and choose move to end. Ok, now we can see another sheet which is named as move or copy since it's the same name, it has been added with 2. As we can see, both the sheets are exactly in the same format. Now let's say we have multiple sheets and we want to work on all of them together so that it's easier for us to add a new format for all the existing sheet. For that let's click on shift key as we have already selected group 1 using shift key click on group 3 and we can see group 2, group 3 all these 3 worksheets are added. To unselect them Press on shift key and click on the first selection and the sheets are deselected. We can use control key to select non-adjacent worksheets as well. Let's select group 2 as well. Now here in serial for B11, let's type B037. As for category, let's add electronics. Now if we go to group 2 and group 3, we can see the same values. We can also add different fill colors for all of them. Let's go here and select this one. As we can see, all of them remains the same. Now if we deselect that, the format remains. Simple, right? Now let's say you want to add 20 worksheets with the same format. Now previous three methods might be a little inconvenient for you. Now let's try a VBA code to do that. For that, we need to go to developer tab first. In case you don't have it, you can go to any other tab and right click on the ribbon to go along with customize the ribbon. From the Excel options, make sure to put a check mark on the developer option, click on OK. Now you should have your developer tab. Here from code group, click on visual basic. It should get you the VBA window. You can also use Alt F11 keys together to get this. Now let's insert a module from the insert tab clicking on module or we can go along with alt i m to get a module. Here let's place the module here like that. Here we will paste a code that we have copied from the article that has been linked within the description box below. Let's use control v to paste it. Let's break down the code for you. Sub multiple sheets is declaring multiple sheets as our sub procedure name. Here d i m 
a statement in VBA that refers to declare and it must be used to declare a variable. So we declare our range to end sheet which is an integer and sheet name as string. Now on our resume next and this following part is for the title of the input box that we want after running the code. Now this entire portion is for a field where we have to put the name of the worksheet and we name the input box field as worksheet name. Also after entering the worksheet name another field will display where we have to put the number of sheets we want to create. Here we have added a for loop so that it can copy the number of sheets with the same format and pasting them with the name we added just before. And sub will end this procedure. Now let's save the code. Now before running the code, let's place our window here so that it's easier for us to follow our worksheet name, which is VBA. Now let's run the code. Here our worksheet name is VBA. Okay. Let's say we want to create three sheets. Okay. Now if we close the VBA window, we can see that there are total of three additional sheets named as VBA. The numbers are added since the name is kept exactly the same. From these methods, you can try any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website excelnemi.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.